Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the differences between the HTML and XML. So in our previous sessions we have discussed about this HTML and now we are discussing about the XML. So how the XML is differ from HTML. So this is the HTML and this is the XML. So first one, both are the markup languages. Okay. So HTML is a markup language. And similarly, XML is also a markup language. It is also a markup language. And the main focus of this HTML is how to present the data, that means appearance of data on a web page. So the focus is on how data is presented on web page based upon the presentation the main focus will be on the presentation and the appearance and coming to the XML the main focus is on how data is described described or storing and transport of data so the main focus here is storing the information then it's storing the data and transporting the data from one application to another application so the main focus is on the presentation so this is called as a presentation language presentation language and here the main focus is on the how to describe the data so it is not a presentation not a presentation or a programming language just to store the data right it's not a programming language so it is a predefined language because all the tags we are using in the HTML are the predefined right so that's why we call it as a predefined language predefined language with complete predefined tags okay so there is no extension here so this is called a standard language standard language that provide framework to define more markup languages more markup languages so this is the standard language right standard language which can define other languages right because so here see this is a data presented on the web page so here uh, it the data will be presented only on web applications the presentation of data can be done only on the web applications here but here coming to this one so a data can be stored The data can be stored 
opt for even non-web applications. Even non-web applications. That means even non-web applications also the data can be stored by using this XML, right? And There is no importance, there is no importance on closing tag, on closing tag. That means here we are using a lot of uh, predefined tags. So for every tag, it is not required to close the tag, right? So there is no much importance on the closing tag. But here, Every tag, every tag that was opened must be closed, must be closed. So every tag should be closed here. So there is an importance for closing tag in the XML. And it is a case insensitive, insensitive. So case insensitive means so HTML is equal to HTML and here XML is case sensitive case sensitive that means there is a difference between lower case and upper case so XML is not equal to XML both are different. Both are different. So here we are using a predefined tags. Using predefined tags. But here we are using all the user defined tags. That means here the tags will be represented by the user itself, right? So user defined tags and as we discussed just now it is not extensible not extensible because of this predefined tags and here all the tags are written by the user by the author itself so it is extensible extensive and here so there is no specific structure no specific structure to display the data okay and here is a point and this is the ninth point and now tenth point and here it follows a tree structure it follows tree structure and this follows the tree structure so in our previous session we have discussed about this one tree structure that means a hierarchical structure it follows the hierarchical structure and see here the extensions dot htm or dot html and here the extension dot xml right xml so here the xml is not the replacement of html that's the most important point we have to remember so xml doesn't replace the html right and here uh, HTML always starts with doc type. So doc type. Doc type means giving the information to the browser which type of uh, uh, data, I mean what type of uh, data the tags, I mean the browser should support, right? Whether it is in HTML4 or HTML5, etc. etc. So the syntax is like this. 
so the exclamation so it is a dot type html so as i said that this is a uh, case insensitive so we can write any any way okay we can write all in the upper case or we can write all in a lower case or we can write in the combination of lower case and the upper case and here always starts with declaration declaration so xml always starts with the declaration which gives the version encoding and the standalone process right De uh, regarding the dtds internal dtd or the external dtds so the, here the syntax will be question mark xml version is equal to 1.0 etc etc right etc then there is no syntax check there is no syntax check so anything can be accepted in the html right there is no particular syntax but here it does a syntax check so it should follow the syntax right it should we have to follow the syntax right so example example i will i'll go with the one more difference here all the attributes so whatever the attributes we are using inside the tags may or may not be quoted may or may not be quoted that means we have to represent all the attributes in quotations the values of attributes right particularly the values of attributes should be in a quotations but that may or may not be happens in the html both it supports both so even though if you are not uh, uh, providing the quotations that will be accepted in the html but here doesn't doesn't accept so attributes attribute values should be quoted compulsory we have to provide the quotations for the attribute values there right so these are the major differences between html and xml right so one major difference is an html is not an extensible and xml is an extensible because it, HTML uses the predefined tags and XML uses the customized tags that means you use the defined tags so this HTML just focus on the presentation XML just focus on the transporting the data so that's why the data can be transported between different applications which can be written in different languages right so these are the major differences between HTML and XML right so the fifth one simply i'll write i'll write and i'll finish so the abbreviation which is a hyper text markup language and this is extensible extensible markup language so these are all the differences and hope you enjoyed the session and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much